Hey there, so this is a really good topic of discussion. I grew up in the 90s and 2000s where it was appropriate to say person with autism, and that's beginning to change. The adult autistic community by and large prefers identity first language, which is autistic person, autistic child. I am autistic. Now, how did this all come about? So the effort to say person first language began quite a while ago. I think it was like in the 70s when people used to refer to people like autistic people with the R word. And it was used as a blanket kind of diagnosis, whether you were autistic, had OCD, a cognitive delay, had Down syndrome. They all received that blanket term from the medical professions called the R word. Now, not really the R word, but you know what I mean. So when people began to realize how toxic and inappropriate that is, they began this movement to identify and acknowledge the humanity in each of these groups of people. So there was a shift of all of these people are the R word to this person has OCD, this person has Down syndrome, and this person has autism. Do you see what I'm saying? So it came from a good necessary movement. So all the 80s, 90s, 2000 babies who grew up being taught what was appropriate and not appropriate in this term are getting a little confused. So as time has gone on, addressing the humanity of these people is no longer the real concern. And autistic people are now, gratefully, it's about time, getting a little bit more of a voice, as they should. And they are saying, my diagnosis is an essential part of who I am. I'm not a meal with fries. It's not a disease. I'm not someone with cancer, with diabetes. It's not something I'm trying to cure. I am autistic. Does that make sense? And whether you understand it or not, isn't really the issue. Like it's always nice to know why, but overall, it's what the autistic community prefers. So bottom line, we respect it and use it. 